What's up, guys? Welcome back to D and D Devotionals. Are you still angry? Well, then maybe we can't help you, but God can. Today we're going to be talking about anger once again. It's a little bit of a part two to our last video. We're going to be giving you guys some strategies to deal with anger, some things that will help you get through any anger that you have or any, any build-up resentment you got going on, and just things for you to keep in mind for the future. Exactly. And so whenever we're dealing with a tough time in our lives, we always try to turn to the Bible. This is a great resource. It has unimaginable amount of just facts that you can learn from and that you can grow from. Anger especially, it talks about it a lot in the Bible. So just open up your Bible whenever you're struggling with sin. And yeah, this thing right here is your is your roadmap. It's your guide to, to life, really. So anytime you're going through something such as anger, just open it up, look for some verses, you know, and read a little bit. Exactly. It always helps calm me down. And so I'm sure that it could help a lot of y'all as well. Exactly, exactly. So the first thing we're going to talk about is whenever you start feeling anger, at the first thing you need to do is try to control your temper. And it sounds simpler than it is because I know whenever you get angry, it's hard to hold back. You are you just want to just let it out right at that time. But whenever we look into scripture, into James 1.20, it says right here, Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Whenever we're showing this anger towards others, it's not being righteous. It's not what God wants from us. So we have to remember that whenever we're starting to feel that anger, that burn inside of us. Exactly. And along those lines, Proverbs 19.11 says, Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. So you have to do your best to, to keep your anger in check. You know, and that helps you become a wiser person. You learn more from things that way. It's your job to try and overlook things like that. So, so in controlling your temper, you have to think that, like we were talking about in the last video, you might not see everything right now. So you got to work on controlling yourself and, and understanding that now is not the place. You need to think about this a little more. So, And it's important to remember that being angry is basically a natural instinct to humans. You know, we're just like the other animals. You know, we get mad or we get defensive really quickly whenever we're trying to, to defend ourselves or somebody that we care about. But the thing is, whenever we're angry and we let anger control us, that's when it gets to be a sin. Just being angry real quick for a moment, but controlling it, that's not really a sin. It's just whenever you start letting that anger just grow in you and just start to control you and drive your actions. When you let the anger take hold of you and, and control your actions, that's when it becomes sinful. So another thing, the next thing that you would want to do would be to pray. You know, you can pray in almost any situation. Prayer is really important for everything you do in life. But um, when it comes to being angry, pray so that you can regulate your temper. Pray for whatever's making you mad, whether that be a person or a situation. Just send up some prayers about it and um, just feel free to talk to God. And pray for strength to forgive. That's really important. Forgiveness takes a lot of strength and it's important to pray so you can have that strength. Exactly. And, and whenever you're looking for that strength to pray and to ask for forgiveness, um, it's always important to remember that right here in First Chronicles 16, verse 11, it says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. So whenever you're starting to feel that temptation of just anger, just letting it out, you have to remember that you may not feel strong enough to stop it. But whenever you look up to him, there's always enough power for you to control yourself and for you to calm down and really think, is this the right thing to do at this time? Exactly. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So in looking to pray and looking for that strength, you can help deal with the situation in a lot better of a way. Yes. And then the next thing you'd want to do is to reflect. And you can reflect really at any point in the process of dealing with anger, but it's important to do it. It's a necessary step. Stop and look at the situation. Look at what's going on and just assess yourself. Make sure that if you're looking at something, and ask yourself, am I looking at the big picture? Am I looking at what's really going on here? There might be more to it than you realize when you're angry. And um, it's important to try and empathize with the subject of your anger. So if someone made you mad, try and think like they think. Like, why would somebody be compelled to do something that would hurt you? You know, there's, a, there's often a lot more going on behind the scenes. Yes, and, and anger tends to cloud our judgment, right? So... Whenever you're super angry, you don't see the whole picture like we were just talking about. Um, it's like 
fuzziness in your head, basically. You're like, just focus on one thing and that's all you can see, it's just tunnel vision. But that's what reflection really helps on. You look back and you're like, did I do good in this situation? And if not, whenever you get in a similar situation in the future, it'll really help you because then you'll kind of have something to go off of and learn from. Exactly, you can learn a lot from self-reflection. And um, another thing that's, the next thing that's gonna be pretty important is uh, forgiveness. You have to forgive in order to let things go. And you don't want anger to take a hold of you and take root in your life. You have to forgive. It's important to remember that we have been forgiven. So we have to have it in our heart to forgive others. In order to deserve that forgiveness, it has to be within you to forgive others. I know sometimes it's really, really, really hard. It's exactly why you pray for the strength for, to forgive. Because forgiveness is that important for you and for the person that you're holding it against. Exactly. And to support that, we see right here in Scripture, Colossians 3.13. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Amen. You have to remember, God forgives us for every sin we commit whenever we decide to go into his love, his, his unabounding love. He shows us an immense amount of support and gives us joy no matter what the circumstances are. And so that's always good to remember that if he can do it, he can also help you do it. Exactly, exactly. It's possible for you to do it. You can forgive them. It might not feel like it right now when you're angry, but then again, anger sometimes clouds your judgment. You have it in you to forgive them. Finally, what might be the hardest step of them all is to love. You have to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's the greatest commandment we've ever received. That's what is listed as the greatest commandment in Scripture. And so, in speaking of love, I think it's important to look at Romans 12, 17 through 19. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So, in the context of love, I think it's important to look at that and think that vengeance is not something that we should be focused on. And I think that makes it a whole lot easier to forgive and to love whenever you you know that vengeance isn't something that you should be doing as a human judgment isn't something you should be passing as a human you don't have the capability mm -hmm. you know and those are also all subjects that we will be going into in the future so i recommend that you subscribe right now if you're enjoying this video okay guys it's going to be great content in the future exactly. Like I said, subscribe. It's right down here, bottom right corner. Just tap that little watermark thing and click subscribe. We would love you guys for it. We love the support. Join the family. Bye. <laughs> but to continue on with his point, love is basically the counter to anger. Whenever you're feeling that anger, just think about how much God loves you and try and reciprocate that love to those people. I know that that may sound absurd to you, Especially if you think about that whenever you're angry towards someone. But it just might help save you from doing something you will really regret in the future. Exactly. It's important to know that we are loved in spite of our transgressions, our failures, our sins. So we must strive to love other people the same way with that unconditional love. So no matter what someone's done to wrong you, to make you angry, kill them with kindness. You know, return it yes. with love. And that it sometimes sounds kind of weird and unrealistic, but I mean... Anything is possible. You can do it. You got you can. it. All right, so that's going to do it for us today. You know, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And like we said before, like, subscribe, hit that bell, share with your friends. You know, we're trying to grow. Thank you guys so much for showing us the support. Much love to all of you guys. And there will be much more content coming soon. On the way. What's up, guys? How we were talking about earlier about how we're going to have more content coming for y'all. Some of that is going to include vlog style videos. As soon as this quarantine is over, we're gonna be going out into the community and doing some awesome stuff. You wanna go into that a little bit? Yeah, we're gonna be doing vlog style stuff. We're gonna be doing community outreach, you know, things like that. You know, helping out the homeless, all kinds of stuff like that. We're gonna be doing some devotional type videos where it's just you and God having a moment. We're gonna be some scripture to look at on your own time and teach you about devotionals. And then we're looking at more content like like the video we have for you right now, the anger video, things like that. We're going to be talking about different issues people go through in their life and the problems and the way the Bible has you deal with them. You know, give you some, some looks into the Bible, some looks into what we got going on in our lives, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So anyways, like we said a million times already, like, 
subscribe and share this video to your friends. Turn on that bell. Hit that bell, hit that bell. Peace.